Welcome everyone here on 2K Sports. Can't wait to get some NBA action going. It's USA and Team World. Looking at the starting five for USA. Miles Bridges is out there with Zion Williamson. Then there's Jaron Jackson. Then it's Young and it's Morant in at the two. And here's Young from the arc. And I'm not sure if anyone will make some history here tonight, but the Rising Stars Challenge has seen its share of miraculous performances in the past. I'll always remember David Lee going a perfect 14 of 14 from the floor in that 2007 game. Here's Morant. Sweet little floater. And it just seems like Moran is always ready to outwork the defense. A big effort pays off for him there inside. And that outstanding drive and finish brought to you by Mobile One. And, and the awareness of his footwork and body on that drive. Wow. And there it is for him. Well, you talked about David Lee's perfect shooting performance back in 2007. Greg, how about Kyrie Irving bearing oh, wow. all those threes? I think he had what, eight in 2012. Both those guys earned the MVP awards in those games. And, and no doubt, remarkable nights that were put on display by those guys. Still, if you, if you want to talk about pure explosiveness, though, I think no one has been able to top Kevin Durant's 42-point effort back in 09 in this contest. Phenomenal performance. Yeah. <laughs> and, and it's just something about the Rising Stars challenge it, it gives each of these young players a chance to really do something special on a national stage, maybe for the first time in their professional career. Shoot two. And he knocks down the first one. You brought up the big stage these young guys are on tonight. For so many of the fans, Greg, who are still, uh, you know, just getting familiar with these players, it really is a great welcome to the NBA moment. It, it really is a showcase. And for each player, whether they have great moments or not, just being chosen to participate is a huge honor. And, and it says a lot about where they stand amongst their peers. Gilgis Alexander hits them both. And guys, since this game started back in 94, this has been a perfect warm-up for the All-Star game. I mean, it has all the fun and excitement of the big game with the added element of introducing some of the great young stars to the league's fame. Good on the bucket. And I like seeing Jackson use that length on the offensive glass. You don't have to be the most physical guy when you have a wingspan like that. Now, here's Gilgis Alexander. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. This really has become one of the signature events of All-Star Week. I know you love it, Greg. It gets everyone into the mood for all the festivities that are soon to come. Yeah, it, it does. I mean, it, it's such a great way for these young players to show off some of the fancy moves that they wouldn't even dare to attempt in a regular season game. An incredible reverse throwdown. Excellent body control. And guys, I'd even go as far to say that was a punctuation dunk. Memorable. Keep that one in the career highlight reel for sure. A baseline J. Here's Clark. And it's Clark with the jam. And all of his athleticism on display there. Clark's work ethic makes him lethal on that offensive backboard. I love this event so much because it combines the world-class ability of these players with the freedom of the playground. Yep, it's the greatest and certainly the most fun pickup game these players will ever play in. And, you know, this game has had a lot of different looks to it over the years. I mean, it began as the rookie challenge back in 94, and, and since then we've seen the format change a number of times. Now, here's Bridges. Brandon Clark missing his last shot. Shoots. Tries again. And Williamson with the layup. Williamson's got his second basket. Carving out space with his size. Williamson instantly cashing in on the offensive glass. 
Gilgis Alexander passes to Clark. Count that one. Well, Greg, you mentioned the various format changes to this game, but the one thing that never changes, as we've talked about, is the entertainment value. It's always the greatest young players in the NBA putting on a whale of a performance. Absolutely. Whether it's Team World versus Team USA, the draft format, rookies versus sophomores, or whatever, right. never fails to give the fans their money's worth. Here's Doncic following the basket by Trey Young. And there's the pass to Hachimura. Back to Doncic. And the dunk by Doncic. And the instincts there from Hachimura. Notice the overcommitment by the defense and then makes the right pass. And for as much offense as the All-Star game features, I mean, the Rising Stars Challenge typically gives us even more scoring. I mean, this is an action-packed event year in and year out. So timeout call here, the first for USA. some changes. P.J. Washington, he's checked in for Zion Williamson. Sexton comes in for Miles Bridges. And Devontae Graham subbed in for Morant. A minute 50 left to play in the first. Clark against Sexton. Over Clark. The shot by Sexton, no good. You know, they don't score on that shot, but they're going to be happy with those kinds of possessions. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Again, team world, good for two. Money in the bank. Gilgis Alexander is more than happy to try his luck from that spot. Outside, Sexton. To the left wing, five to shoot. Graham from outside. No good that time. And Team World will come the other way. And man, is this team on a roll right now offensively, Greg. So fun to watch. They're playing with so much confidence, which is why they're tearing it up on this end. Now, here's Gilgis Alexander. He has six. And here's Doncic from the arc. That's good, and he's now three for four from the field. Well, we know how good Doncic is with the ball, pulling up off the dribble, so it does him a bunch of good when he's converting his catch-and-shoot jumpers as well. Balances out his offensive game. Young's shot is off. Team World leading by four. From deep. Doncic, no good. And so Graham will bring it up for USA. Young pass to Washington. They need this. Outside for Sexton. Jackson setting the pick here for Sexton. For the three. The basket's coming early and often in the first quarter. Team World leads by four. And don't go away. We'll be back with the action for the start of the second quarter in just a moment. Put your hands together. 
Welcome back as we get a glimpse of the future here at the Rising Stars Challenge. And it has been a fantastic game up to this point. It certainly has. I mean, we know these young fellas can play, and they are putting on a show. And, and not as many turnovers as, as we often get in this game. So good to see both teams taking care of the ball. Yeah, it really is. I mean, surprisingly, very well controlled for the most part. Sometimes things get a little wild out there, but not so here. We've got Brandon Clark, Rui Hachimura out there with R.J. Barrett. Then there's Shane Gildas Alexander, and it's Doncic in at the one. And you know, the officials not giving their whistles much of a workout here tonight. Very few fouls being called. And most of that, Greg, is because they're not playing full force defense. I mean, you're never going to see as much contact around the bucket in this game as you would ordinarily. And for USA, we've got Devontae Green. Colin Sexton is out there with Washington. And there's Jackson, and it's Morant in at the two-guard spot. Here's Doncic, following the basket by John Morant. On the wing, Gilgis Alexander. Graham defending. Gilgis Alexander kicks to Hachimura. Four on the clock. And the dunk by Hachimura. When you play with Luka now, Doncic, he's ready to find you if you're open, so you've got to be ready to receive. Here is Graham. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. USA moving the ball around. Morant against Gilgis Alexander. And it's Morant missing. Team World leading by six. Here's Barrett. A rebound by Washington. Second quarter of basketball, just over a minute and a half played. Graham dishes to Morant. It's Clark with the rebound. That's exactly the look they wanted, guys. Right guy, right play. Wrong result. And wrestling jump, for it there, jump, but jump no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. And it's Team World with the ball. There at the pass to Clark. Hachimura with it. And a bit of a battle here for the ball. The official signals a jump ball here. So it's USA now. Graham surveying the floor. Washington with a screen on Doncic. Graham, and he drops in the layup off the glass. Well, that time Graham picked the right play at the right time, getting himself the room he needed to shoot. To the paint, and slam dunk by Clark. And he can do a lot more damage to the rim than that when he wants oh, to. Oh, you're right. And with the lead they're enjoying, I'm surprised he didn't put a little something extra on that one. Well, I think he did plenty of damage nonetheless. I mean, it was only with one hand, but he still threw that down pretty hard. Now, here's Doncic after Colin Sexton's miss. Doncic passes to Gilgis Alexander. To the inside. Goes to the reverse layup and pops it in. Gilgis Alexander's got the lead up to eight now for Team World. Bring him against Doncic. Over to the left wing. And it's Morant missing. You, you almost have to assume he's going to knock those down when he is that open. Barrett. Here's Clark. Off target there. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively for sure. Here's Sexton. USA with another miss. Team World leading by eight. Gilgis Alexander passes to Hachimura. Back to Gilgis Alexander. And Sexton over to Hill. Lock at six. Hachimura setting the pick for Gilgis Alexander. Beyond the arc. It's hauled in by USA. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. Hachimura against Washington. USA with another miss. 
And so Doncic will bring it up for Team World. They lead by eight. That's the biggest of the game. Gilgis Alexander passes to Doncic. Back to Gilgis Alexander. Over Morant. Gilgis Alexander can't get it to go. USA trails by eight. Sexton with it. He's picked up by Gilgis Alexander. The shot by Sexton, no good. And, and you know what? Defensively, both teams have picked it up as we've gotten a little deeper into this game. A little more competitive fire and intensity being shown out there now. Now, here's Doncic. Clark, a screen on Sexton. Doncic, no good. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage pay. There's 42 seconds left here in the second. Trying to get something going. Rebound by Team World. Clark's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Down low. And Gilgis Alexander the bucket on the assist from Barrett. And that's now 10 points for Shea Gilgis Alexander to the right side. Now Graham. Here's the three. USA with another miss. On the wing, Gilgis Alexander. Started by Morant. Gilgis Alexander passes to Clark. He goes up again. And Gilgis Alexander with the nice bucket inside. Gilgis Alexander's got 12 points in the game. And so it's Team World up by a dozen here at the end of the quarter. Their strategy has been clear tonight. Work the ball inside, get shots in the paint, and now they are scoring with ease. And don't go away. We'll be right back. back to this showcase of the amazing young talent in the NBA, the Rising Stars Challenge. And it's not hard to tell just how much fun these young guys are having out there tonight. That's exactly right. And the same goes for the fans. I mean, they're having a blast, too. What a terrific event this has been. And it's Team World with the ball, leading by 12. We've got Hachimura. Donchich out there with Gilgis Alexander. Then it's R.J. Barrett, and it's Clark in its center, locking down the middle. And this young man, a rising scorer who continues to improve. Gilgis Alexander may soon be the focal point of every opponent's scouting report. Team World shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. First free throw is good. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. So it's USA now. It's a 14-point game on the court for USA. We've got Bridges. Jackson is out there with Zion Williamson. And it's Young. And it's Morant in at the shooting guard. Now here's Morant. Jackson. Rebound by Team World. Clark's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Gilgis Alexander kicks to Hachimura. Good ball movement here by Team World. Gilgis Alexander against Young. Donchich outside. Just four to shoot. From outside, off the mark. 
rare you'll see him miss such an open look. And the dunk by Williamson. Well, that's just the pure strength and explosiveness of Williamson. Easily finishes there through the contact. Now, here's Gilgis Alexander. 14 points for him. Doncic against Young. Doncic dishes to Barrett. Bridges with some nice defense. USA trails by 12. And then Morant slams it in. And how about all these dunks? I mean, this game's been a complete crowd pleaser, no doubt. I know, I'm loving it. These players are really strutting their stuff tonight. Showtime! Third quarter of play with just over a minute and a half gone by. No one near Doncic as he lets it fly. Offensive rebound. Here's Clark. Well, it was only a matter of time, but they finally get the bucket. Clark's got eight. You gotta know, this is Clark's skill set at this stage of his career. He takes quality shots when he's inside. Now, here is Young. He's got five. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the five. First personal foul. First team foul. It's his first trip to the line. USA. Trey Young. At the line for two. Shoot two. And the first one at the line is good. And Young's confidence is, it's easy to love. A leader who really takes responsibility for his team, win or lose. And so Young nails them both. And that's the norm for him. He's pretty much automatic when he's at the line. And now the first time out called here for Team World. Two minutes into the second half of play now. Young against Doncic. Passes it to Gilgis Alexander. Pass to Hachimura. Shot clock at five. Free throw line jump shot. Rebounded by Jackson. Jackson's got six rebounds here tonight. Morant against Gilgis Alexander. Loads it up for Williamson. And it's Morant missing. Team World leading by 10. Inside. Marvelous lead pass, and he throws it down. Just rubbing it in their faces with that knowledge. <laughs> he is never going to take his foot off the pedal. 
And that's terribly demoralizing for a defense, guys. I mean, they know he's going to keep coming and coming and coming and that they may not have an answer for it. And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. Taking matters into his own hands. Yeah, we didn't expect to see that kind of finish. And you know, guys, when your point guard is making explosive plays at the rim, I really do think it sets the tone for the rest of the team. Bridges finds Jackson. And here's Young from the arc. That shot off. And Team World will come the other way. The drive by Doncic. Basket good. Nine points for Luka Doncic. Well-rounded effort, and, and they show no signs of letting up. Timeout. Almost USA. no holes in their performance tonight. They've been tremendous. The USA calls time here. USA with some changes. E.J. Washington comes in for Jaron Jackson. And it's Sexton in for Morant. Second half here. We're just over three and a half minutes into it. Young against Doncic. Washington with a screen on Doncic. Here's Young. It's rebounded by Barrett. Barrett's got four rebounds in this game. Pass to Doncic. Looking for Clark, and he gets it there. Takes the alley-oop pass and dunks it down. Yeah, letting it rip. They're just having fun right now. Yeah, offensively, they've just been rolling. Impossible to stop. Williamson a screen on Barrett. Barrett against Bridges. Six to shoot. Here's Williamson. And he can't stop the run as he misses. Team World leading by 18. Right side, Gilgis Alexander. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. Second team foul. And a chance for just a second to check out the scoring breakdown for Team World. They bullied the defense here in the paint. Look at all of those buckets inside. Just hard to defend in the paint. You've also got to commend them for how they've attacked the basket. They've been aggressive. They've not settled and have consistently gone at the rim. The first one falls. Gilgis Alexander hits them both. 125 left to play here in the third. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. 11 feet away. Misses off the left iron. 
Boy, you can just see the frustration growing on their faces. Nothing going their way. You know, guys, no denying it's been a rough patch here. I think they've got to run whatever is best in their playbook to get a good shot. And, you know, he's a threat from deep, no doubt about it, but it just has not been there for him tonight. You, you might want to change your game plan a little bit offensively. Now, here's Sexton. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Here's Washington. Another miss, and they desperately need a bucket. And so Doncic will bring it up for Team World. Their defense has only allowed six points in the second half. The pass to Hachimura. He dishes it to Barrett. Sexton against Gilgis Alexander. Over Sexton. Team World with another miss. USA trails by 20. Loads it up for Williamson. But what a leap by Williamson. Fearlessly rising up and slamming it down. Doncic with it. From deep three-point wreck. He got it in. That's to finish up the quarter. That's an impossible shot, man. Even when you don't have the clock to worry about. Hmm. And at the end of the third quarter, a huge lead in this one may already have been decided. Team World out in front, delivering the blowout. Don't go anywhere. The final quarter is coming up next on 2K Sports. How about a look at today's State Farm Assist of the Game? And how about the floor generalship right here? I mean, showing us why they're always in good hands when he's the man in charge. Well, clearly, he's the guy that stirs the drink for him, and that's how he does it, with his dynamite passing skills. And we're glad to have you along as we resume the action at the Rising Stars Challenge. Some great careers in store for these young men. And what a showcase this game has been for the league's best and brightest young stars. And, you know, one of my favorite things is seeing the camaraderie between the players. I mean, both of these teams really enjoy playing together and against each other. Brandon Clark is out there with Hachimura. Then there's Shea Gildas Alexander. Then it's R.J. Barrett. And it's Doncic in at the one. Now here's Gildas Alexander. And it's Clark with the jam. And this is Gilgis Alexander's responsibility to find his guys when they're open. Young outside. Kicks it to Morant. And it's blocked by Gilgis Alexander. A little over a minute of the fourth quarter gone right now. Pass to Hachimura. The shot's good. Gilgis Alexander making the play. Gilgis Alexander's got four assists in the game. Now, here is Young. Morant outside. Outside Jackson. Fires from deep. It's rebounded by Doncic. Team World leading by 23. Gilgis Alexander finds Doncic. No good from Clark. Good offense squaring up against better D there. You got to appreciate that stop. Spins. And we're about two minutes into the fourth quarter now. Jackson laid in with a nice touch off the glass. And that is quickly becoming Jackson's domain. He, he's such a strong finisher in the paint. The way, Greg, they're sharing the ball tonight, mesmerizing. Everyone's getting to touch it, and, and everyone's contributing. Anjic passes to Gilgis Alexander. And he makes good on the layup. Gilgis Alexander's got 22 points. And have yourself a night, Shay. We know he can dish it, but when he needs to, SGA can just take over offensively. Now here's Morant. 
From the top of the key, he buries it. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. And Team World calls time here. A moment to present the New Balance player of the game, Shea Gilgis-Alexander. And his focus, guys, has been laser sharp, and his touch from the field, flawless. The, the teammates have worked hard to get him the ball in some good positions, and boy, has he rewarded them with a spectacular shooting performance. Great call to keep running all those sets for him. This is as good a game as we've seen him play. And this crowd can't get enough of it. When he explodes like this, it becomes a special atmosphere in here. Kicks to Doncic. Looking for Clark, and he gets it there. Up high to stuff the alley-oop. Tell you what, very few players have the playmaking ability of Luka Doncic. This guy is special with his vision and passing. Morant passes to Young. And the foul called on Brandon Clark. That is his first foul of the game. First team foul. Williamson outside. Down to five on the shot clock. Young trying to break free. Sexton's shot is good. You know, beautiful move there by Sexton. Read the defender and has the body control to adjust. Double team on Gilgis Alexander. Now here is Hachimura. Doncic kicks to Gilgis Alexander. Morant comes with the double team. The three for Doncic. It's hauled in by USA. Takes the three. They get it back. Williamson. Good work defensively by Hachimura. And so it's Hachimura who brings up the ball for Team World. Double team on Gilgis Alexander. Out to Barrett. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. Clark sets a screen for Gilgis Alexander. And it's Williamson with the rebound. Williamson's got his fifth rebound in this one. Sexton the pass to Young. 133 left in the fourth. It's good. Young's got four this quarter. All right, all-star body control and an all-star bucket right there. Cleared out his airspace, took his time, and sunk it in style. That play itself, worth the price of admission. Now, here's Gilgis Alexander. The dish to Clark. It's Barrett on the wing. Here's Doncic. Team World with another miss. 
USA trails by 19. Loads it up for Williamson. It's stolen by Hachimura. Here's Clark. 52 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Hachimura with a screen on Young. Anjic passes to Hachimura. Terrific assist, a nice finish. Solid play all around. And that's impressive mobility there. Hachimura is tough to stay with given how quick he rolls in these sets. Now, here is Young. Shoots over Doncic. Young, no good. 27 seconds left in the game. Doncic outside. Here's Hachimura. And it's Morant with the rebound. Take what's available. Use the fadeaway when the defender's there on you. And here's Young. So no problem for Team World as they get the win. I can't say enough about how well all these young men competed here tonight. A great show for the fans and a clear picture of just how many talented up-and-comers we have here in the NBA. Greg, no doubt there are some future greats among the players we saw here tonight, and we're pleased to have brought you all the action. So now for Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony, this is Kevin Harlan saying good night, everyone.